David Erdos with poem seven from Uneasen Verses from Difficult Times, the next first day of freedom. The first day of so-called freedom was crowned by a slur of rain from far forces, lifting the lid on the lockdown in London at least, soaked the box, dampening the sense of occasion for some at dawn as this government gift grew less special, though many of course, pints defiant, will get splattered by sky pissed in all senses, as drink in the cold air surprises and tries to quench and calm aftershock. How was it for you? Did you run to a shop, wallet willing? Or are you lined outside your drab local as if it was a bright hippodrome? Are you placing new bets, or possibly at the beauticians, restoring your face and sensations after a numb show made, whilst alone? What was the first day of freedom like for black slaves in the 1800s? Ecstatic celebration or reflection, rancour and repose, as those men and women considered the sins that had been perpetrated against them and the scars sealed and spoke wisely as the colour of blood dried through clothes. There has been no bloodshed within, apart from that of individual illness or that which has been stoked and stirred by the riots and the clamour and clash to be free. But I wonder if in time this will rise. For what does freedom taste like? John Mills's ice-cold in Alex gold lager, or the red from clear liquid as you savour your G&T tonight as a prize to mix glee? Nothing has been truly won that we know, just the comfort and care of illusion. And yet illusion, we know, is a magic, or a magic of sorts, anyway, which transports what we know, or what we thought we knew, to a mysterious place we don't search for, let alone question. As while unofficially we have walked past, now those previous centres of pleasure can be touched, if not entered, as titillation begins, its sweet sway. Freedom has always been tease and teat, even while breasts bore the burden. And now, in releasing the strain and stricture of a bra, lets flesh fall. I haven't been out, as I am still beavering away in my cavern. But society's boob, which first barred us, is suitably pendulous now, as time calls. Temptations resume. There will be snakes in car parks, if not gardens. Instead of dead apples offered, it will be a packet of crisps and Teflon. All of the other things we forget, they can still, if we stay unaware, soon ensnare us. So I say enjoy, find and fondle, but don't yet project love's full song. Let's hope it's bubbling up as you speak and as you sing tonight. The sun's broadened. I'm going to sit outside the front of my house and regard you drinking to those lost in braces, and to a club still unopened, where, in times to come, we'll belong. David Erdos, April the 12th, 2021.